They arrived in Scotland, truly the team like no other. Ukrainian football players excused the front line in the pursuit of sporting success. All Ukraine who has this opportunity is going to watch us, and we're going to feel this support, that's 100%. So, and like I said already many times, to be fair, you know, we can speak a lot, but we need to do on the pitch. So that's what we're going to try to do. The Ukrainian squad came here via training camp in Slovenia. In a country where males their age aren't allowed to leave, domestic players were given a pass at the start of this month. In the past few days, they've been joined by their big names playing abroad. <laughs> Scots have voiced their support for Ukraine since the Russian invasion. For their nation, bidding to qualify for a World Cup for the first time in 24 years, tonight it's difficult, but it's football. The Ukrainians have decided that they want to play, they want to try and give their country a lift by their football team performing well. They want to go to the World Cup. But it's a game of football. We want to go to the World Cup too. We've waited a long time to be in this position. The players, our players, the Scottish players are desperate to go to Qatar 2022. This is the Ukrainian consulate in Edinburgh city centre. And this is the street unofficially named after Ukraine's president. There's no doubting the sympathy in Scotland for the plight of Ukraine and its people. Whoever wins tonight has a playoff against Wales in Cardiff on Sunday. There is a lot riding on this game though everything is relative. James Matthews, Sky News, Edinburgh.